All righty. What's up, folks? Ooh, here we go. Heydays bound. We are leaving right now for Heydays. Heydays is in North Branch. It's the biggest sled swap on the planet. <clears throat> Happens one, one weekend every year. My truck's already in the swap. And I have a ticket. But we're going to see if they'll let me in. I'm We're skeptical. I have, like, a fair amount of stuff that needs to come in with me, too. So I'm, like, trying to figure out how that's going to work. I'm driving my buddy's truck because my truck, he pulled them a trailer down with my truck so that's the plan the last time I was there was like three years ago last year they didn't even have it so I'm guessing the uh, I'm guessing the swaps gonna be full of stuff anyways I'm gonna get on the road and we'll be there soon see bye Can I get the chip oh, too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Do you get what? What? Do you think I can go through this woods right here? Across the server <laughs> and begin? Oh. Hey, Trev. Listen here. You jumped this f***ing fence that's right here. Jump this. Listen here. What video was it? Oh, is that Pasta Island video? Yeah. I immediately started looking for toppers. Alright, folks. We are finally in. It's actually, like, what? 11 o'clock? 11. It is 11 11. Big thing is, um, when I got here, I had a ticket. It was 9, 9.16, they wouldn't let me in because I needed to get scanned and get a wristband like this before 9 o'clock. Well, I went to the main entrance of the swap, and the security guy there was not going to let me in, but he let me in because he called his top security guy who had a scanner, scanned me, and I got a wristband. So... I got in barely, had the guys carry my stuff. If we rewind a little bit, I had the guy from the parking lot give me a ride on his UTV, awesome guy. He gave me a ride to the gate, and then my buddies came and picked my stuff up while I went with him to get my wristband. So, long story short, I got in finally, awesome. But now we're in the swap, we got the bus. You'll see the stuff in the morning, so it's. Got the bus, got the trailer, got the truck. We're gonna go for a walk, maybe look around a little bit. I really need a stock access track for my sled because I'm gonna swap it, so it's pretty much mint. Definitely gonna show you a lot of stuff in the morning. Yeah, so anyways, no, probably see you guys in the morning, unless I find something really cool at night. Stay tuned. Everyone's going to sleep. It's about uh, 1.28. We walked around a bit and <clears throat> met some people and uh, Trevor bought a snowmobile stand for his sled so it's pretty cool got a pretty good deal on it so we're gonna sleep now probably wake up six seven o'clock somewhere in there <clears throat> anyways yeah so uh, we we're in Hades of 2021 I'm gonna hit the hay but I'll see you all in the morning so good night Good morning, folks. What time is it right now? 6.43. People have been kind of moving around out there all morning, but they just opened the gate because my brother is coming in right now. I just got dressed. Gonna be up so when he gets here, we could maybe go for a walk, and then I have to run to the Jibu stand and get a clutch puller for my sled from my buddy who owns one. We're gonna pull my clutch, my primaries, cause, so we can get the starting plate off the back of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get up and uh, we're gonna go find Wyatt. Wyatt, all right. All right, we're gonna go find Matt here in a sec and uh, try to find an access track for me. Wow. Sorry, you sure much. Oh, wait, look at this. What's up? <laughs> Woo! Good seeing you. Wyatt? Hello. Made out of the trail? Yeah. <laughs> I need a G-Boost play from racing. Yep. Try to make me buy a golf cart. This is absolute poverty. We have no torch. <laughs> Lots of hate on Absolute poverty. I'm gonna get so much hate for this. <laughs> no one in fact. We're all, we're all here in the field. Quite literally. A in the field. field. We're in a hay field. Yep. That's what the guy said last night, they hay this. 
Okay, get him a starter kit off freaking the throw. This is probably isn't gonna work, but we're gonna try. Dude. Yeah, and by the way, I didn't really introduce. Did I introduce you? I don't know. No, this is Nick. And then, uh, you know Trevor. Trevor's been around. We got Noah's. Problems. Yeah, he's got issues. We got Tanner over there. Yeah, we'll probably go uh, pretty soon. Sure. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, what are you doing here? Taking our beer. From <laughs> the main vendors. They call it the dual threat. It's either through the muffler, trail quiet, or it's full open race exhaust. Where you hit the actuator button, the actuator opens, and then you have a straight pipe. That's sweet. Yeah. This will shoot three, four foot flames. I believe it. Uh, this got really. Yeah, it's got a two step on it. <laughs> two step. Two truck. step. Cool. Trevor is meant so to be. This has got a two hundred. Meant to be. It's got a two hundred forty <laughs> horse two hundred. So you can start running two eighty, but you're getting on that fine so you're, line. So you're two forty pump gas to them. Yep. 91 octane right from the UP. That's not bad. Wow. Oh. Mile per hour. Um, it doesn't the greatest mile an hour the way it's set up with the big skis, big track, big windshield. But uh, it goes zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Good trail burner. Wow. Yeah. Holy. Dang quick. Keep going, guys. Let's see how long it takes. Keep going. We got shovel out over here. We're almost his time. 40 seconds. Okay. Almost ready with Beacon here. What was his time? 48. Okay, we got three bags. We got fourth bag, but she doesn't have a zipped up. This could be challenging. Everybody. That's Everybody not bad. Out. That's actually Everybody pretty good. Under a minute. That's really good. Good job. Alrighty, so I just sat in the guys with the guys in the truck for a little bit because the AC is on. I'm taking off now because my buddy's Nix is over at Levi Lavalley tent, so I'm gonna go see him and we're gonna watch walk the rest of Swap B. See if we can't find anything kind of cool. That's where I'm headed. It's really really hot out. It's really humid, so it kind of sucks, but there's a little bit of wind, so it's nice. You know, I can't say I've ever seen it. It's really good. If you like root beer, it's the best root beer ever. That's a stretch. There's no way. <laughs> You buy a fork back and you don't think it is, I'll buy the other three cans back from you. It's really I like good. it almost better than beer. Oh, here's the straight to it. You're looking about. Radio is used then, obviously. This one yeah, here. both of them are. Does that have the backup camera? Uh, This one does, this one does not, but this one has the navigation unit. Oh, oh this is the flip up deal. Yeah, this is one of the oh, single space. Old sought, sought after radios. What's the story on this one though? This other one, this, this double guy? Bin. Yep. Um, I got this from my work actually. Uh, this is a, basically a brand new head unit. Uh, the manufacturer dates from November last year on it. There she is. Really? Right here. Manufacturer November 2020. 
So this yep. is a double DIN Pioneer touchscreen head unit, um, and this has a backup camera on it. Really? So here is the input from your gear shift to put it in reverse, and then there's also a signal under the radio here for the parking brake. So, How much is that? Um, this one's one to one fifty. I'm kind of open to offers on this one. Okay. I have a I have an F-Mark head the unit kind of like that right now, mm. but it's it's having a trouble it's having trouble speaking to my uh, Pioneer subs. Okay. That's a Pioneer. Yeah, so, this, this should work perfect. So I ended up buying a couple of things. So I bought a head unit for my truck. It's a Pioneer head unit because my head unit for some reason is not pairing with my subs. For some reason they don't want to work together. So. I was told to buy a different head unit. So I bought this one. I got a good deal on it. It's brand new as of last year. And then I bought um, a race flap for my sled. so a longer one. And then I actually got this. It's a uh, um, a strap kit for flaps off a guy um, just down the way here. They're brand new. Nothing, never been used. So I feel good about that. Um, it's now, I think it's like... What time is it? It's Seven o'clock now. Sun went down. It's super nice out right now. Like I'm gonna go walk around now. People are kind of settling in for the night and like kind of chilling out. And a lot of the bulk of people left. So um, now is like a good time to look around because it got hot today. Like as you can see, I'm burnt. Kind of you know, there's just so much miscellaneous stuff here. I mean, you can find anything for anything, really. You know wheelers pit bikes mopeds four wheelers you know i've seen a couple jet skis actually so we're gonna go look around a little more um obviously if i find something cool you know you guys will for sure see it you know a lot of the stuff is just kind of nonsense because it's just a lot of random crap but there's people riding around and stuff so we're gonna go see what it's all about and uh hopefully maybe find something else we'll see keep you posted Good morning, people. It is Sunday now. Well, nothing really extreme happened today. Just walked around, saw some people I haven't seen in a while. As you can see, pretty much everyone's leaving right now. We're just getting hooked up to leave. I'm gonna head on back to Duluth. Woo! Alrighty. How should be in here? We good? Yep. Wow, I didn't know, know there's USBs up there. That's cool. Oh my gosh. See ya. See you when you get home. <laughs> That's a wrap, baby. On to the next adventure. Hey, it is 2021. Till next year. See you bye.